Aloha, your sports fans. We're here at the Stan Sheriff Center where the Rainbow Wakini basketball team just wrapped up an 82 to 71 victory over Long Beach State. Hawaii would be without star forward Camilla Jackson, who sat out her fourth straight game with an ankle injury. But the Bulls would not need her tonight. Hawaii got off to a fantastic start, hitting three of their first four shots and route to a 51.4% shooting clip in the first half. The Rainbow Wahine would use a 10-0 run to gain separation early in the half and would lead by as many as 17 over the 49ers. At the half, Hawaii's lead stood at 40 to 28. Felt awesome. I mean, it was good basketball to play. It, it felt good. The chemistry is good. The, I mean, I'm sure you guys seen it. Running up and down was even good to watch for you guys. So, I mean, it's just awesome. Coming out of intermission, Hawaii would start strong again, hitting four of the first seven, and were able to build their lead to as many as 20 in the second half. Long Beach would be able to piece together a rally to cut the lead to seven, but that's when senior guard Shauna Lake took over. Kuehu scored 14 straight points for the Rainbow Wakini, helping the lead soar back into double digits. Long Beach State would later rally again to pull within six with 142 left in the game, but clutch foul shooting by the Bows allowed them to seal the game away. Honestly, I didn't even think I broke a 15 mark. Um, it sounds weird, but I, I go into the game having this, this expectation of how much I need to get to contribute to this team, and, and the fact that I've been able to do more of that, I mean, it's always wonderful. It's always good to see. It was consistent, you know, played with a sense of urgency, played with great intensity. Uh, she was our go-to girl tonight. And when Sean is facilitating, when Sean is scoring and she's working hard, um, that's Sean at her best, and that's, it's beautiful basketball to watch. Kuehu finished with a career-high 28 points, but wasn't the only bowl setting a personal best. Junior guard Morgan Mason set a career-high with 16 points, and center Pua Kailiava also did so with her first career double-double. To have three people on career high nights right now, it makes it hard to beat. I mean, to, to guard three people that is capable of, of carrying a team right now, you can't guard that. You can't, you can't guard that. The Rainbow Wahine will return to the court next Thursday to take on UC Santa Barbara. It will be senior night, and four Rainbow Wahine will be playing their final games at the Stan Sheriff Center. Reporting for Kaleo O Hawaii, I'm Jeremy Nita.